last patron question is from Music Guy, and this is for Armin. Zane, what are your thoughts on Ibrahim Marisi visiting Ooh. Moscow and meeting with Putin? This Wait, I should have a... So this was like heavily uh, made a lot of noise in... Was it the photo of him giving dua e in the e Kremlin's palace? Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, that's also... But not... Hmm, I should have had prepared... I should have prepared this earlier. Hold on, let me actually bring it up. Um... Yeah, but this made a huge noise in Iran because he was not very received very well um, inside Russia. Like so, so for people who don't know, Ibrahim Raisi is Iran's president, and he just went to Russia to meet with Putin, and Putin didn't um, show up at the airport to greet him, right? And people were extremely uh, in Iran. People in Iran were like the anti-regime people were very happy about this because he was like, they felt like he was being humiliated, right? Um, anyways, let me actually show you some some footage. So... That's so, a big-ass table. <laughs> actually, I will talk to you about the table soon, okay? That table became <gasps> a topic, okay? But so, for example, you can see that he... Sh Hold on. Me. You can see that he showed up at the airport and Putin was not there and there was not that big of a reception, right? Um, and so, you know, the, oh, and people are commenting about that the Iran's national anthem was, they, he didn't hear it being played, but I don't think that's fair because maybe it wasn't part of the video. So they basically, a lot of people, uh, even, I think, not even the foreign minister showed. Um, so the people that showed up to greet him were not high level enough. So a lot of people were commenting on that, right? But another thing, let me show you. So people were comparing, oh, here's the picture, right? So people were comparing how Putin uh, receives other people compared to how he receives uh, received Gracie, right? So they're comparing that. I don't know if this is fair. I'm not saying that this mean, means anything, okay? Like I'm not reading too much into this. I'm just saying in Iraq. <coughs> <coughs> A lot of people are highlighting how big of a deal this was. They're like, oh, this is how he talked to uh, Ben Salman, Erdogan, um, Assad, but this is how he accepted Racy. And people said, like, this is not because of social distancing, because all of this happened. All these other ones also happened during the. Oh, time. damn. <laughs> <laughs> the so one acceptable, acceptable excuse doesn't even work. <laughs> like okay somebody in the live chat is saying no one cares well you're an idiot because people are talking like i'm not saying you should care or you shouldn't care but people are micro analyzing every second of this right people were even analyzing putin's like tapping his feet while he was talking to racy like everybody is like oh my uh, god everyone becomes a body language expert yeah yeah but okay but the, here's a interesting part okay so let me see yeah so he this was this was very important for Racy to do, okay? Because he prayed, and he wanted to make sure, like they wanted to make sure, like oh my god, look at it! He take off his shoes. Oh my god, this is incredible! This is in oh my god, this is so uh, so embarrassing. So he took off his shoes and he's praying, okay? And I think it's very important for him to look at his white socks. Maybe wear some black socks, but so it matches your outfit. You look so oh my god, so. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> You're coming anyway. after his socks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but this is so pathetic. This is like the president of a country, right? Actually, talking about that, look at this uh, TV. This is a small ass TV for like, Putin <laughs> is supposed to be. Anyways, never mind. You're so Let... petty. <laughs> 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 All right. So here's the thing. So it's very important for him to have this, had this recorded, okay? Because there's also a similar narrative about when Qasem Soleimani came to uh, Kremlin, and there's this very like a uh, very celebrated story of Qasem Soleimani praying inside Kremlin, right? Because this this is like a, it's a hero's story about like he the narrative is that he told when he was in Iran he told people like uh, showed the power of Islam, right? Because this was supposed to be the leading 
atheistic state in the world, like the anti-religion communist state, like this, a superpower, right? And Soleimani was, when he was praying inside Kremlin, he was saying, God, look how great you are. This used to be, this was man's, this was a, this used to be a superpower, right? This used to be, this is the power of men. Like, this is how far men could get, but you humiliate them, but you show who's the real authority. Because right now I'm praying to you at the center of a place where it used to be against your religion. So your religion, Allah's religion is always dominant, always comes ahead no matter what no matter how these arrogant pathetic humans think how powerful they are at the end of the day islam wins and him praying inside kremlin was supposed to be a symbol of showing how powerful islam is because no power no power is too high for allah to ever eventually overcome right and basically that was a very clever way of framing it because to other people this is like nothing like this is only money just praying in Kremlin, like, okay, I guess do your prayer, right? But he managed to reframe that to see like his praying at like, he will, be, if you frame it like that, God is was using Qasem Soleimani to show his authority over man's power, right? So something that seems very small and insignificant to us, all of a sudden becomes a symbol of Allah's power, right? So given how popular that narrative was amongst um, the supporters of the Islamic Republic of Iran, so how symbolic that was, right? I think Reis wanted to make sure that he's also recorded for <coughs> praying over there, right? To be like, oh, look at this, he's praying there too, just like Qasem Soleimani, right? Um, yeah, but but so that was that. Okay, so the last part of what I wanted to show, okay, about this is a lot of anti-regime people compare this to so you saw this first part right let me actually share the audio let me know if you have audio okay so people are comparing this ki arbab raiyati va be qul adde biosi ast qarar dadi ke besiyach dadan be an va har do guruh baraye sabit kardan in ke nazar va dar film people were comparing this to when sh- people want people who are the supporters of the shah were compar- uh, the previous for people who don't know the shah was the pre- the pahlavi dynasty was the the uh, dynasty that um, was taken over was collapsed because of the 1979 Islamic Revolution of Iran. So people who a lot of people who are against this current regime are supporters of the previous regime, which was the Shah, the Shah of Iran, right? So people who wanted to show how pathetic Raisi is compared that to when the Shah visited the Soviet Union and how he was received, right? And they're like, look at this. Look, let's look at it. Oh, oh, actually, they put it side by side here. خالفان پادشاهی خواه حکومت این استقبال سرد را با زمانی مقایسه This is the comparison. Okay, it's just music. I'm just going to Should I keep the music? Maybe I should cut the music. Yeah, just in case. Just in case we're going to get a copyright strike. I have to say people who yeah. like totally worship the Shah is like really cringe though. I know. I yeah, it is cringe. I mean, he did a lot of good things and some bad things. But people yeah. worship him like a god, and that's kind of cringe. But but like they they're like, is that Gar- who's that? Is that Gorbachev? Anyways, oh that's nice. So <laughs> so that's a, a lot of people. Every time they see his picture, the picture of shot, their their hearts melt. They start crying, right? They're like, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, like look how much, look how great he is. Actually, hold on. so they like. Anyways, the music. I'm not playing the music. The music makes it seem a lot more interesting than what I'm showing. But I'm. I don't know if the music is copyright free or not. So I'm. I'm afraid of showing it. But they. Yeah. They like. More oh, look at the glory. Yes. Yeah. They're like. They look at the glory. The glory of the Pahlavi dynasty and how much, how much they, <laughs> oh. no, they're like, they like, look how, basically the message is like, look how much Iran was respected. Mm-hmm. Inter- internationally, Iran used to be respected compared to this. Like, right? They're like, we're like, people are like, we're, we're, Iran is nothing now. Iran is like pathetically weak. 
we're not on the on the international stage. Iran now is now a joke. But you, when 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 Shah was in power, we were we were, we were treated with respect because people took us seriously. People took Iran. A lot of people keep referring to Iran's passport. They're like Iran's passport used to be a passport that was like so valuable across the world, right? But now mm. it's like it's it's like worthless now, right? So they keep like saying like we used to be this, now we're this, and they keep they, it's a favorite thing of the pro monarchy people to keep comparing. Oh hey, Tara uh, Sultan is here. Yeah, what is it saying? They do the same with Pakistan when Pakistani president President Ayub was given this kind of protocol by JFK. Oh, very like, look at how great it used to be. Interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. 